play. As a combined company, there's a lot of efforts that have been made over the last couple of years to bring in very new and innovative ideas into the company, including a complete rebranding. It's a very fun company, and we have felt that over the years that there needs to be more and more instrumental branding done to let you know just how fun we are. So we're also introducing our own very special character named Orby, who is going to be our ambassador of fun, and talking to you in the press as well about all of the new things and innovation that's going on. He's actually been around for about 30 years, but kind of stuck inside of our logo, and now we're making him bust out so that he can communicate to you and the guests in the parks how fun the product and the innovation at Whitewater Prime Play is. So let's show you a little bit of our rebranding. Also, it will show you some of our new product. I'll talk over the video a little bit to show you where it is. So here he comes, he's busting out. We'd like to introduce our new fun Orby. We've got sunglasses for everybody so that you can see things from his perspective. What we are is an original brand. We're one first in the market. We are here for 32 years. We've been a trusted manufacturer for many years, and we trust that the industry realizes that we continuously build with them and want to know the feedback and bring to life the original fun and amusement that the industry has always made. We also believe that we are original, the other side of original in terms of innovation. So we may be first, but we're also being innovative. These are some of our new products that have come out this year. This is a completely new way to interact and play. This is created by the gentleman Rick Biggs, who is the founder of Interact and Play with the Big Dumping Bucket, and that's his new creation, which is awesome for us. We also have Splash Quest, which is an interactive club that works in a water park going into Jazz Island. It's part video game, part water park game. We also have ways that we combine all the slides together that we call combination sensation. So it's taking all these different thrills and bringing them together for a family in which you feel them all at different times to go down the slides. It is with our original stamp. Another part of doing the combination sensation is connecting different slides together so that you're not just have a choice between one slide, you have several different sensations that you can choose from, depending on what you want. Again, another one that has two different ways in which you experience the thrills as you're going down on the rapids. The original stamp goes on that as our newest innovation. Another important part is guaranteeing the color and against fading for 10 years. Here's so Orby to show you what we're coming up with next. I'll show you a little bit more. So now we're have adapted my company, Activations, into Whitewater. It is using mobile technology as a way of interacting with the park. We're also bringing a night experience to the park so we can extend the water park season with the ability to make it glow and come to life. Slideboarding, the ability to actually slide through it like a game combined with sliding, and it tracks you as you go through. All of that is upcoming in 13 and 14, and we're really excited to bring our new originals to the market. Now, how would you all like to take a little trip with me, and I'm gonna show you the creation of activations and the ability to use mobile apps in a theme park setting. We're in the Prime Play booth, which is the dry side of the business, it's bringing all of the interactive play into the adventure trails coming to life. So instead of this all being in the water park industry, we're also bringing it to the dry industry. We've partnered with a software developer, this is Brent Bushnell, from 2Bit. He is able to create all of the interactive play using a mobile device. So some of you I see are holding your mobile devices. They are literally very instrumental in the way that we play today. It is part of our lives, and it's part of children's lives. So when you think about what they're already carrying in their hands, can we do something with that device and make a park come to life? So, walk into a park, and you have the option to download 
these interactive apps. Now we're not talking about maps and navigation. We're talking about attraction play. So if you take 30-year veterans like myself, bring it into the industry where we know how to create amusement attractions, but do it on the technology that they're playing with and using today. And all of the things that the technology offers, from the cameras to the ability to track you and map you, offering marketing pushes, it's a great solution for a park reaching out to its consumer and giving them very contemporary relevant play. We have a little bit of a twist to it. So when you download the app, in this case we made a prototype called the Venture the app, it's going to tell you a story. So we have a chance to communicate with the audience that you're seeing. Communication you'll never be able to get. I'm going to just show you how it works. In this feature, what we do is that we create the ability to, this is on an on a app, so it's allowing us to, there it goes, times two. Okay. So this is my activation button. And what it's going to do is allow me to do a checklist to find different items. And when I do, it's going to augment them. How many of you here have augmented reality? Okay. So we're going to augment. You want to see how it works? I'm image recognizing this gargoyle. When I image recognize it, it's going to give me a clue. You can see it's dancing above its head. I can take you each through it individually if you like to see. When I have that clue, then I have to go around and find another one. Now I have my book of stars. And when I do that, it's going to augment, and I'm going to let it know that I found it. The last is the trigger on the